my name is Ruth Tenen. I am a postdoctoral lecturer in the Thinking Matters program at Stanford University. And I did my undergraduate degree in molecular biology at Princeton. And that's kind of where I first got to work in a lab. Um, I learned what it was like to do molecular biology and genetics. And then I went straight from college to graduate school at Stanford, and I got my PhD here in cancer biology, working in a lab that studies how DNA is packaged up inside of cells, so it's epigenetics lab. So I think my biggest passion about genetics is number one, the potential for influencing um, the treatment of disease, and number two, it's a really cool way of getting people excited about science. So non-scientists getting them interested in you know, human genetics or animal genetics, and it's a way to kind of spark curiosity in both kids and adults and get them excited about funding research and then kind of doing research themselves. So one thing that I've noticed is a really big push to do incorporate hands-on activities in the classroom. So um, oftentimes the way that I learned most of my genetics was through lectures and it was a great way to learn. I had fantastic teachers, but I think when you can really get your hands wet and do a molecular cloning process or really examine some um, genomic data, it, it helps you really internalize and understand things and understand them at a deeper level than if you just kind of listened in the classroom. So I think that sort of project-based learning and understanding from a hands-on perspective is something that's coming up a lot now. The ideal thing that would happen with genetics in, in 20 years is that we're going to have a lot more personalization. So we'll be able to, for example, let's say that you're diagnosed with cancer. We can sequence the DNA from your cancer and design a tailored therapy based on this.